We've devoted a fair bit of our program tonight to the explosion of cases in Ontario with word of another state of emergency going into effect this Thursday. But we also wanted to look westward to Alberta, where daily case counts have actually been trending down, but where the overall number of people in hospital has still been trending up. So let's turn to Dr. Lenora Saxinger, an infectious diseases specialist at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. And Dr. Saxinger, I make that point about hospitals because Ontario's breaking point has everything to do with ICU capacity. How close to that breaking point would you say Alberta is? Well, I think we've been walking that line for a period of time now. Our cases started to go up in mid-December and have just turned around and started to come back down fairly slowly. Um, but there's a big lag time between cases in the community and cases coming into hospital, and people are often hospitalized for, you know, one, two, three, four weeks at a time. So it takes a long time to see the effects of improvements in a hospital setting, and we've really been running at extremely high capacity, and people are starting to get, I think, um, over, overworked, and uh, the system is really straining at the seams. And, I mean, th there are ways to create capacity where there hasn't been capacity in the past, but uh, I suspect it also means making some pretty difficult decisions at times. Right. So between finding beds and equipment is easy, finding staff is hard, and um, there's a kind of natural limit to the amount um, of good care you can provide to the level you want. And there's also a, a process whereby people who might have been given a chance to see if they can benefit from c critical care might be less likely to get that chance because there just isn't room at the inn anymore. And, um, and, and that's something that's very, very difficult for the people who are providing care to make decisions about. So then, I mean, it leaves me wondering whether other provinces such as Alberta would consider the kinds of emergency measures that we're seeing here in Ontario. And, and, and I don't know whether you think that would be effective. Well, because our numbers are starting to drop and the rate of increase in hospitals is dropping, I, I think it would be it would be hard to argue for a change in course right now. But we've been running, you know, well above a threshold that we've previously set in terms of active cases for additional measures. And I think if things start to turn, turn in the wrong direction, that would really have to be considered. I mean, above 100 cases per 100,000, you start to see health system strain. When you're up around four or 500 cases per 100,000, it's really easy to see that you cannot provide the kind of health care you want for the population anymore. Right. Uh, Dr. Saxinger, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks. And hey, for all you folks at home, uh, if you have COVID-19 questions for our doctors, you can message us directly on Instagram at CBC The National or you can send us an email at covid at cbc.ca.